Welcome to Perform Mode and Output Basics. We're going to take a look at how we can use Perform Mode and the Window Component to output content from Touch Designer. Touch Designer has two different modes of operation, Designer Mode and Perform Mode. Designer Mode is how Touch Designer starts up. And in this mode, we can add operators, build out our network, and interact with the Touch Designer interface. In fact, this is how we actually spend most of our time when we're building a project. Perform mode is optimized to output the network that we've created, and it won't load any of the interface elements from the touch center user interface. So for example, the play bar here at the bottom, the network in the background, or our views of any of our operators. We typically use perform mode uh, in circumstances where we're building an app for an exhibition, uh, for an installation, or where we're building an app that we want to use in a live performance context. Perform mode uses a window component, and in fact, in a default network, if we go up to the root of our project, we'll see that there's already a window component called perform here added to our network. We can enter perform mode by using uh, the F1 key on our keyboard, and we can see this pops up a floating window uh, that we can interact with. We've got a tile, title bar that we can use to drag around. We can minimize, maximize, and even close our window here. To exit perform mode, we use the escape key to return back into designer mode. Now we'll see that our perform window has a whole set of different options that we can interact with uh, and use to configure how we're going to actually drive our window component. So for example, if you want to turn the borders on or off, uh, there's a flag for this. So let's go ahead and turn the borders off and let's open up uh, our perform window again with the F1 key. And we'll con we can see that we no longer have that title bar across the top. I also can't move my window. I can't rearrange it at all. And this is great, especially when I'm working with projectors or with any kind of LED mapping where I want to place my window component somewhere specific inside of my raster. Let's use the escape key to return back into our network. We can also do things like change the position of where our window lives. Uh, and we can also add uh, specific coordinates with an offset for that as well. We can specify monitors, so if we have multiple displays plugged in, we can also specify which display that we're actually going to uh, place this window component on. Now, while our window component is added here by default, we can also add our own window component. So let's go ahead and navigate inside of Project 1, open up the OpCreate dialog by double-clicking in the network, and let's add a window component here into our network. The window component can display the contents of any operator, any of the nodes inside of our network. So we could, for example, drag our out uh, top here onto our component and assign this to the window operator. Or we can drag this right into the window operator parameter. We can then, I'm going to go ahead and make this appears, make sure this appears on the correct display here. We can open that as a separate window. So we can have another floating window that runs um, with our uh, project running in the background. Or we can set that to be our perform window. Now it's worth noting that because we can assign uh, any component, or excuse me, any operator here to be uh, how we're going to output content in this window component, we could also use, for example, our geometry comp. Let's go ahead and open that as a separate window. Or even uh, chop here as well. So this can be really useful whenever we need to create pop-ups or floating windows of operators now we're wanting, where we might want to view just the contents of that operator. Let's go back and assign our out1 to be our window operator that we're using here. Now we can assign the, this as our perform window uh, by using the set as perform window uh, parameter from the uh, window component, or we can also use the window placement dialog. That's located in the dialogs menu and under window placement. This will show us all of the window components inside of our project and allows us to assign which one of these window components will be used as the perform window for our project. This is also where we can assign our TOE file to start and perform mode. If we turn on start and perform mode and uh, save and quit our project, when our project starts up, it will begin in perform mode just like this. Uh, and we won't see any of the interior part of our network. We won't see our network until we use the escape key to return back inside. There's lots of things that we can do uh, with the window component and with perform mode. And this is just to kind of peek at how we can get started with those basic elements.